Corruption is everywhere, including in Britain. But now the law is coming down hard on it. The country's Bribery Act makes companies liable for acts of corruption by employees, whether at home or abroad. Businesses uh, are having to do more investigations because they have to be able to demonstrate that they're taking these allegations seriously. So if a regulator is to knock on the door, maybe the, the, the Financial Services Authority or the Serious Fraud Office, they can demonstrate that not only have they put controls in place, but when they've had suspicion of bribery and corruption, that they've investigated it and, and resolved that issue. Corruption specialist David Alexander works for a large accounting firm in London. When companies suspect an employee has offered or accepted a bribe, the first thing they do is impound the person's computer. David Alexander has had more work since the law came into effect. It makes companies keep a tighter rein on their activities, and the line between what's legal and what's not has grown clearer. You're trying to get your goods through customs. You might pay a small um, uh, payments, a small facilitation payment to the customs officer to ensure that your, your goods are, are trans, transferred through customs quicker. That is, is uh, not allowed within the UK Bribery Act and it's a good example of where um, the, the legislation has sought to cut out a grey area. Transparency International played a part in developing the Bribery Act. Before it, the UK was lagging behind in the fight against corruption. If you go back to 2007, we had zero cases, whereas the US had more than 100, Germany had more than 50. So we are now catching up. I hope that with the Bribery Act, we will now see a further increase in UK law enforcement and see more cases coming through. So how can companies protect themselves against employees being corrupt? That's a particular challenge for large firms. Halcro Group employs 4,500 people in Britain, most of them engineers. They work on construction sites around the world. Bribery is a common practice in the building sector, so Halcro has taken to training its staff at least once a year, so everyone knows what's allowed. Recognising an approach, um, it could come in a very innocent way, um, or innocent looking way. Um, and so it's about ensuring that our people don't expose themselves and the company um, by, by getting sucked into a position whereby um, they have unwittingly engaged in corrupt practice. Halcro employees are neither allowed to accept gifts nor hand them out. In particular with government, um, government clients, uh, we don't even offer tea or coffee or water at a meeting because we know that their policies actually forbid them um, from accepting them. Halcro is playing it safe. British officials hope that stiff penalties will act as a deterrent. But the Serious Fraud Office, the Bribery Act's main enforcer, has had its budget cut, and so far, no major case has gone to court.